AI videos are going absolutely insane with the DSHS Aura, Google's View 2, Minimax, and now Kling's version 1.6. We're gonna be reviewing what Kling has to offer by going through some of the generations posted on Twitter, how it's different from previous versions, and what people have to say about it. We're gonna start with the most famous generic example, it's Will Smith eating stuff again. This example keeps popping up because AI models can't seem to pick up this prompt accurately. I feel this particular version is better than the previous version, however other video generators like Google's View 2 or Sora can do a better job honestly speaking. They don't really produce videos with actual celebrity faces, but you do see less morphing in Kling 1.6 version, but it's still there. The head moves a little bit off as he takes a bite, the face kind of moves a little bit off. Another video that was generated by Kling, and not gonna lie, has a solid feel to it. It does give a bit of a tense feel, however, the face movement still has that odd feel to it. It does a good job focusing on the main subject and blurring out the background. The background also does maintain consistency with the buildings and the traffic seems to follow up smoothly. So overall pretty decent job uh, to be fair because it also does create a storyline. It does maintain the consistency. It does contain the aura of the police and then the tenseness in the visuals. A user made this trailer uh, via Google's View 2 and some parts were made by Kling. I'll play a little bit then I'll give my thoughts after. This was all made directly by some shots generated from Google's viewer and Kling. Also, I feel the guy did a great job editing these as well and making the sound sing, the sound effects, the cuts, the piece. This as a whole was such a good presentation. Again, if you're looking at these, then I feel stock footage at this point can easily be replaced by full-fledged AI-generated short films. And people seem to be loving these in the comments, and rightly so. Another user says he loves the way AI has made this image of Thor into a whole cartoonish animation. And quite solid of a generation. It does feel like quite good of a generation, but again, it does have a proper feel to it. But again, this is now what is expected of AI as well. Another user says he is testing the realism of Kling's POV generations. Prompt was something like hyperspeed POV shot of a city. Seems quite fair to me, but does look animated to be honest. There are bluffs in this, the smoke coming irregularly. But because this is a fast paced generation, this is ignorable. The overall look of it seems quite good. It did adhere to the prompt, it did, it was fast paced, it was POV, it showed destructive scenes, so pretty good job. Another generation of a user who has made a whole series, calling it the unknown civilization. And if you don't try to critique it too hard, uh, it feels quite good of a generation. I'm quite amazed by this. Uh, the look and the feel, the characters, the moods, the effects. Again, the guy, the editor did a good job presenting this. But again, just the generations, just the video part element. These are solid generations by Kling 1.6. Another generation where this Colosseum is shown and the duck seems to be taking a nap. Not to repeat myself, but it does look like a real proper animation. And that's how it should be. Also, that is what is expected of AI as well. Finally, I'll play a clip of a consistent generation that I find really amusing to watch. The user did a really good job putting the pieces together using Kling's version 1.6 image to video format. The user called this Wonders of Woolnam. 
So there you go. The Pale Blood Moon's oscillations, for they summoned the Eldritch Choristers from the Abyssal Choir. Did you just string random words together? Nightmare or reality? Either way, I look fantastic. To transcend the nightmare, you must embrace the essence of the cosmos. Can someone just tell me if there's a map? 